The AFLW is destined to fail, but it doesn't have to, and the solution could lie in an abandoned AFL concept. In an attempt at equality, the Women's League hasn't really been given any chance to succeed. The AFLW is currently being built to be a carbon copy of the AFL, with the eventual goal to have both leagues running simultaneously through the winter months. But let's be real about the AFLW for a second. The standard is shockingly poor, even to the point where it doesn't even match state leagues for the men's games. And seven years in, there's been no real improvement in the standard and the quality of play. Especially now with 18 teams being rushed into the comp, the talent pool has really been diluted. When it comes down to it, major sporting leagues are entertainment products. The whole goal is to get bums in seats on stadiums selling tickets and watching on TV at home. So the question has to be asked, why would anyone choose to watch the AFLW over say the men's league or the state leagues for the men's as well? Over time, and especially as these two leagues start to run simultaneously throughout the year, the AFLW will largely become irrelevant. The AFLW is just a copy of a product that already exists in the men's league. It's just a much worse version of that same product. Now don't get me wrong, I definitely think it's important for there to be a professional Australian rules football league for women. But if we're being totally honest, the AFLW will never reach the standard of the men's league. They're always going to be playing catch up and they're always going to be compared. And AFLW is always going to be in the shadow of the AFL men's league. So why not give AFLW a chance to be its own thing entirely and therefore give it a chance to succeed? Personally, I think the solution is AFLX. Now, don't turn off just yet. I know that's going to be an unpopular opinion, especially amongst AFLW fans. But hear me out. There are a number of reasons as to why I think this is a good idea. Firstly, there's less players per team, which means less dilution of the talent pool. We've already said we're seeing problems with that in the Women's League. There's just not the talent there to spread it across 18 teams. So if you only needed a significantly smaller number of players, that would help a lot with spreading out the talent across the league. Secondly, AFLX is played on smaller fields, which means smaller stadiums. At the moment, AFLW is being played either at just local state league footy grounds, which aren't the greatest, or they're being played at 50,000 plus seat stadiums, which are mostly empty. The AFLW in its current form will never be able to sell out those 50,000 plus seat stadiums, but they could potentially get to a point where they sell out 20,000 seat stadiums. And if you're playing on a smaller field for say, a soccer or a rugby stadium, that's definitely got potential. The third point is that there will be less congestion for AFLX. One of the big problems we're seeing at the moment with AFLW is that it's so hard to score. With the low skill level, there's just a lot of congestion and players find it hard to get the ball moving from one end of the ground to the other, which results in smaller scores. If we have significantly less players on a much smaller field, then that makes it that much easier to get the ball moving, remove the congestion, and to just make it that much easier for players to score. And that lower skill level that the AFLW currently has also eliminates a problem that the men's league had when they did AFLX, which was that because their kicks were so long and that the skills were so good it didn't take much effort to get the ball from one end of the ground to the other which meant that there was no real contest. I think AFLW would suit that perfect sweet spot where the elimination of congestion would help move the ball a bit more and create more scoring opportunities but also that lower skill level would also help to make sure that they're not scoring too easily and it would really make a decent contest. So that's my solution for AFLW and AFLX and how I think they could go together really well. I know diehard AFLW fans will not be happy with that and think that it's a step down or it's not good for equality. But at the end of the day, don't you want to have something that is an entertainment product that can actually do well? Something that is completely unique and completely different from the men's league. Still gives women the opportunity to play the sport at a professional league, but also create something that is so different and that it isn't in direct competition with the men's. So that people who are diehard AFL men's supporters might actually give the AFLW a chance as well, not just because it's there, but because it is something that they genuinely want to watch and that they can't get a fix of anywhere else. Thanks for watching guys. As always, leave a like, comment and subscribe and all those good things. And uh, until next time, see you guys later.